Hey guys, this is Chiron and welcome to Chiron Labs. So while I was out and about, I stumbled across this beautiful Amanita. And through some discussion and debate, we decided that the correct identification for this was Amanita pantherina. Um, it's still up in the air, but that's what we're going to go with. And we also found this yellow cap Amanita. So the thing with Amanitas is they're hard to cultivate because they share a beneficial relationship with the trees around them. And it's hard to fake a symbiotic relationship, but we're going to give it a shot and see what happens. Now I know this has been done plenty of times before, so um, here's my, my take of it. Um, first I weighed out the Amanita. It was 311 grams, so I'm going to call it Amony the Pantherina 311. And I just set all my agar places aside right there. So I'm going to take a couple samples from the different parts of the Amanita. So first we have the stipe. Um, this is what some plant lovers might think of as the stem of the mushroom. And I'm just going to clean off the top, get it to where I have a cleaner layer of tissue and then I'm gonna pull a couple samples from that. Um, there's often debates where you take your mushroom culture. To me it doesn't matter as long as it's clean so that's what we're gonna go with. Um, always try to spray off my plates before I use them. So now that I have them ISOed up going to sterilize my scalpel and then I'm going to put um, three tissue transfers onto uh, each one of these plates. You don't have to do three but I'm just trying to maximize the space available and if something messes up then I have you know two other samples on the plate I could use. You'll notice in this whole video I'm not going to spray the mushrooms because I still plan on drying these out and doing Amanita stuff with them later so next I took the cap and I'm going to take some of this tissue right at the top it may look like I'm cutting into the gills but I'm not there yet So just taking some fresh mushroom culture right from the top of the cap. Okay, and now this third plate is I'm going to take some samples of the gills. Now, these gills do have spores on them. And that's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping for a stronger cultigen to want to grow. And uh, I think taking off of a really nice specimen like this will increase my chances of uh, getting a good genetic. Um, I've been using this grafting tape a lot lately. Um, I find it's nice, easy to work with, super cheap, so um, if you wanted to try something other than parafilm, I would recommend this. It's about $5 if you get it off Amazon. And now that I have this done, I'm going to start labeling everything. So this is a tissue sample I took from the stipe. This is the one that I took from the cap. And then the third one is the one that I took from the gills that should have some spores on it. And now this is our Amanita Pantherina 311 project. And we're going to set those off to the side. So I also have this yellow cap Amanita that I found at a different location. And I'm just going to start cloning it just in case. Um, the more samples you have the better and we're gonna we're gonna get this to work so you're probably thinking Chiron how are we gonna get this to work um there's a couple different ideas that I have brewing around so one is it shares a beneficial relationship with trees um, normally trees are going to produce a lot of um, sugars, glucose, um, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to take some sterilized glucose, sterilized sugar in different forms. Maybe one will be honey, possibly use malt for another one, 
maybe raw cane sugar, spent in water. And I'm going to feed that slowly into my substrate as it's growing. Um, so we'll do that for maybe a month or so. Then after that, we'll, uh, if they haven't grown it, we'll cut the sugars off and then simulate rain. We'll soak the substrate, let the water all drain out, and then put that container into shock. So that is some of the first rounds of ideas. It's probably already been done before, but that's not the only idea we have. Okay, guys, stay tuned for part two, where we're going to try to make a spore slurry and expand it that way.